Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. Please remember that this reading may not resonate with every Scorpio out there, so just take the messages that are important to you. I'll only bring up a, a few or a couple items. One, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check that out. In the extended, I will look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, uh, love messages, and guidance. And then I'll also take a peek at new love if I do see that in the reading as well. So, or if the energy doesn't look good with the other person. So with that, um, the only other thing I have for you is I do give away personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. So good luck, Scorpio, if you wish to enter. And let's pull some love messages. These are uh, love oracles here. So let's see what message we have for you. All right. So the first one you have is... The more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. All right, fill in your own love jar there. You also have the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. So some of you may be, you know, having to refill your jar of love because you may be in separation with your soulmate here or feeling some distance uh, from somebody here that you love. And let's pull another message. All you need is to believe in yourself. Okay, so definitely a lot of messages there around self-love. I do uh, pick up an energy where you may be feeling separated from someone or feeling dis distance from someone that may be upsetting you in some sort of way okay but it does feel like a very strong soulmate connection here all right uh so whether you've met this person or not let's see what the energy is i'm going to pull two cards for your person two i'm sorry two cards for your energy two cards for your person's energy and then i'll get the mutual energy between you and your person I'll clarify and then we'll go from there. So let's see what we have for you. Okay, so two cards for your energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Actually, we're going to pull three cards and we have the Eight of Swords. Your person's energy, we have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Hangman. The mutual energy, we have the devil, the three of wands, ten of swords, the moon card, and you have the eight of wands. Okay. Definitely get some communication coming in for you here. Romantic energy coming towards you. A new beginning I see here for you in love, Scorpio. We'll see if this is this person that I am seeing here or if it's somebody else. But bottom of the deck here, you have the star card. Okay, so strong Aquarius energy here. So some of you may be missing somebody here, you know, maybe healing through a situation, something that happened, I feel, in the past. It feels like it could have been definitely an unhealthy um uh, connection here or something here that just was not working could have been toxic as well but let's go through the energies you for your energy scorpio you have the queen of pentacles the knight of cups and the eight of swords okay so it definitely feels like an energy of I feel like there's somebody here that you have a lot of feelings for, okay? Somebody here that you were hoping for stability, maybe even commitment from, but it feels like you just didn't quite get what you needed from this person because this person feels like somebody here um, who was very inconsistent. And I'm just going to say they could have been somebody here who was all about the passion as well, right? Maybe, you know, they... Um, they loved having fun with you. They may have kept their connection casual, uh, but it doesn't, uh, from what I can see here, this person I feel did not um, 
have the best intentions or they were just leaving you unclear of where things were going. So let's uh, see uh, how this plays out. Now in your person's energy, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Hangman. I feel this could be an indication that your person um, may come back around here wanting another opportunity. Possibly even seeing things in a different light here. We'll see if this person has changed. I do feel like this person could be a temptation for you, right? Or there could be something unhealthy because um, in the recent past, you do have the devil energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I also feel here too, there could have been something unhealthy about this connection. Now, it could be that this person was all about the intimacy Maybe keeping you stuck. Maybe I'm hearing too. Maybe making promises there that they never really kept. We're going to clarify the cards. We'll see uh, in detail. We'll go back. Now in the center of your reading, the heart of your reading, you do have the three of wands. Okay. What I'm getting with this, um, maybe to what I'm seeing here as well is that I do feel that there's, there could be some secrets here with your person. I feel like your person potentially could have other options. But what else I am seeing here, Scorpio, is I feel like there may be options coming towards you as well. And I'm going to say it again. I always say it, Scorpio. It always feels like you have options, okay? In, we're going to clarify and we'll see what that is. All right. Now, this could be you hoping for this person to return, right? To receive some sort of communication, to have a rebirth in the situation here. Um, this is your energy as well, Scorpio. So, you may be hoping for justice in the situation or things to transform here. But I definitely get there is um, an element here of something unknown or your person being secretive. Can be you as well, Scorpio. Take the rules how they resonate with you. Okay. Now, in the foundation, you have the moon card, which tells me there isn't a lot of clarity here. Um, it tells me, too, that you could be dealing with somebody who is a bit secretive, or this just can be the, you know, deep feelings and emotions that you may have for this person. In your uh, near future position, you do have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so we definitely get there with some sort of ending, which would make sense here with a separation uh, with your person's sadness here. Uh, but I do feel there is some sort of new beginning, um, a renewal. And it's beautiful in this deck because it doesn't portray somebody who is devastated um, or very hurt, it, it shows somebody who's looking ahead, somebody's looking towards the future, wanting change, wanting a beautiful new beginning. And I get that energy too with this three of wands. That's why I feel there's something that is coming in for you that is going to bring a, a new beginning. Now, it could be, um, you know, this person returning, we're going to see. You have the Eight of Wands as your outcome. So I do feel there's a romance, romantic energy coming towards you, communication. We're going to see if it's this person. Could be, you know, this person and somebody else. But let's uh, clarify the cards and see where this goes. All right. You know, I feel too, look at what just popped out there, the Ace of Cups. All right, could be new love. I'll rekindle here. But what I'm seeing with this double card too, or what I'm hearing Spirit is, is telling me here. You know, like I said, it could be a temptation here. It could be repeating old patterns. If this is a situation where you and this person have been going back and forth, okay, that's a red flag there, I feel, um, you know, about repeating past patterns, okay? So that was a message for someone. So clarifying the devil, look what you have here, the Knight, Knight of Wands here, Knight of Wands. The moon card, you have the moon card here again, and the queen of wands. Okay, 
So yeah, I feel like you're dealing with somebody here. Look at that. And the Eight of Swords that you have here. This is somebody I feel who kept you stuck, right? Somebody who was inconsistent, didn't give you a lot of clarity, right? I feel here too, this is somebody here who wants to be single. And that's uh, why they were keeping you stuck here because this is somebody who wasn't offering you anything stable and, and they left you, I feel here... Um, you know, not uh, giving you a lot of clarity of where things were going um, because they didn't, I feel like they didn't want to tell you. I want to say here too, this could be somebody who um, I feel may have had a, a, another relationship on the side here with this Queen of Wands. I, it could be a, another single energy around this person and that's why this person was in and out. This person wasn't, uh, you know, they never stuck around long enough right, to get close because I feel there was another energy around them as well. That's going to be for some of you. Now, clarifying um, this moon card. This is what's hidden or illusion. You have the emperor. You have the five of cups. And you have the page of cups. Interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you have the two of wands. So like I said, I do feel that you have a lot of feelings and emotions and, and this is in your foundation here. You know, here's that sadness, okay, that I am seeing here, feeling the loss, okay, maybe feeling like you haven't been able to control things here with the Emperor, but what I'm getting with the Emperor and the Page of Cups here, I feel this is somebody again Somebody who didn't share a whole lot emotionally, okay? Somebody who kept things, it feels, very casual. Or if, you know, they made it feel serious here, this is somebody who didn't really give you a lot of clarity. They kept you guessing or, you know, they made you um, feel confused about the situation. You got strong Aries here. I didn't say here you have strong Pisces and you have strong Cancerian energy, all right, um, two of wands energy, okay, on the hermit. As I said, I feel this is somebody that um, is, I feel, is a temptation for you. It could be an unhealthy cycle with this person, an on and off situation, and a very tempting when this person comes around. And I feel now you're at that point where you're at that crossroads, okay? You can see there's a snake in the pathway here with the Hermit card, could be dealing with the Virgo. So I feel like you're more cautious now um, because of what has happened. You know, that's part of, you know, that self-love I feel that you are learning through this situation. Let's see now what the options are here, okay, with this Three of Wands. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the three of wands here, please? Why is the three of wands here, please? All right. So you have the ace of swords. You have the death card. Your energy there, Scorpio. Seven of wands. Seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, you have the five of wands. Okay, so it shows me, I feel, um, well, let's see what's below five of wands. You have five of wands and you have the ace of wands. Okay, yeah, I feel there's more than one option here. Okay, there. I feel there's new love coming in for you. There isn't going to be another opportunity. Um Five of Wands definitely here could be, you know, competition, but I feel you you have an internal struggle about this, the whole situation with this person. Let's see uh, what we got here, okay? For some of you, I feel um, that you may feel that you have a lot of time invested with this person here with the Seven of Pentacles. I also feel there's a lot of... Um, spiritual growth happening with you during this time okay that is causing you to really look at the future really look at what you want um, but I feel like you're wanting you know 
a connection here where you know you can really invest in the person and they can invest in you you have the ace of swords the death card and you have the seven of wands right so i feel like you're very guarded at this time i feel you know you're looking towards opening your opportunities towards new connections new relationships even dating here um and I feel like you're at the point too where you're you may even be feeling like you just want to cut this person out of your life, right? Either that or you're wanting um a fresh start here, okay? Because I do feel like some of you are still a little bit hopeful that things could work out. But so far, what I'm seeing is I, I feel like this is somebody here who's not ready to settle down somebody who is keeping things casual but let's see why the ten of swords is here this is that renewal that new beginning you have yeah there it is again ten of swords ace of wands there's that opportunity again okay five of wands the hierophant let's get another one gosh three of swords okay three of pentacles so this very well may be, okay, what I'm getting here so far, this very well may be this person. But it also can you, be you just going through your healing. You've got very indecisive energy, okay, whether this is you or your person here. Somebody's holding back, okay. We'll see when you get to your person's energy, but this is what I'm seeing. Ten of Swords again, right? An ending here, but always brings a new beginning. You've got a, an opportunity here. So there may be somebody here else in the mix here fighting for your attention, right? Wanting an opportunity with you. But uh, if you pick up, it can be your person as well. When we clarify the Eight of Wands, then your person will know if there's two energies here or one, all right? Um, you have the Hierophant, Strong Taurus, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So some of you, you know... You could have even been married to this person and this person may have been seeing someone on the side wanting to be single, I'm getting as well, all right? But I do feel an energy here of healing, okay? Coming together, you know, working things out. Some of you, this could be a marriage that you're, you know, trying to work through things um, and get past this for a new beginning, some of you, this may just be about your own spiritual growth, okay? And also uh, being open. You know, if you have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, okay? I feel like, too, this is also putting yourself out there after you've done your healing here is what I'm getting. But I feel there's an energy here of holding back, okay? One, because maybe you need to heal. Or two, you're hopeful that things could still work out because you also have the Justice card here, Strong Libra. So you may be hoping... Um, for this person to make things right okay so let's see now with your person thank you angels and spirit for your guidance why is the hangman here please actually we're going to say why is the ace of wands because the ace of wands is here and the ace of wands is here that's why i feel it's your person you have the justice queen of cups ace of pentacles let's get one more Page of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, I do feel like this person here um, is seeing things differently, seeing things in a different light. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, the lovers, strong Gemini energy, yeah. So this person has a very strong connection with you. Um, like I said, this could have been somebody that you uh, separated from, like a legal separation. Um, you know, they, uh, somebody that you may have even divorced or you're going through a divorce, but you have the justice card. So I do feel like this person wants an opportunity to make things right. With the Queen of Cups, it does show here that they do have feelings and emotions for you. And that might be that realization, um, you know, them seeing things differently. So I don't feel like it's just about passion, but they may have treated you that way in the past because they didn't really think about or know what how they felt okay because they were in and out and like i said there could have been somebody else around you have the ace of pentacles and you have the page of pentacles so i do feel this person 
is going to reach out to you, send you some sort of message. I feel like they're they're hoping um, almost for a new beginning here, right? To start out um, slowly and move to, you know, something long-term and committed. All right, but this is also, you know, this is somebody here, I feel they're going to take it slow. You know, it's something here that a foundation needs to be built because it doesn't feel like there was a solid foundation between you and this person. Let's see now who this Eight of Wands is, uh, who this communication is from, whether it's still this person or a new person. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Strength card, Leo Energy, Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, three of cups. Okay. What I feel this is saying here, I feel this is a different energy. Okay. I feel that uh, you very well may. This is a, another uh, romantic energy I feel coming towards you, Scorpio. And I feel that you could meet this person. Like if you go out somewhere, you go out to happy hour or you go out for a drink or even some sort of celebration, um, or party I get here. I feel like you you possibly could start talking with somebody here, right? Their energy is coming towards you, okay? And I feel here with this Eight of Cups here too, this may be, you may ta start talking to somebody new and this may, uh, you may make a decision to walk away from this other connection here because Knight of Cups, I feel there's another offer coming in for you, okay? another uh, romantic offer, the kind of offer that you were wanting here, okay, you know, but you were, you felt stuck, the romantic energy, the type of person you, you want in your life here, I feel that um, some of you may get the courage and the strength to take a risk and move on to new love uh, for your own happiness, okay, Two of Cups, yeah. I feel that you got another soulmate coming in for you here. Somebody that you may bond to very quickly. That's why I was saying this may be somebody new coming in and it just may uh, lead you in a different direction. But I still feel this person's coming back around. All right, so I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to look deeper uh, at this person. We'll see what that's all about. I will also ask about the new love person as well. So I hope to see you on the extended Scorpio. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.